our beloved spirits of light who so desire to be pleasing to God and to engender Aquarian love within your families and communities around the world. We, Mary and Raphael, are here with many, many angels to nurture your souls and to envelop your spirits in light and in the divine quintessences that will support your pathway home to the heart of God. Yes, all require angelic intercession from our perspective. For when an angel comes into your midst, that one is there for you in a divine intimate relationship whereby your soul is raised, your mind is hallowed, your heart is infused with eternal fire, and your will is ensconced within the highest context of how you, as a son, a daughter, may indeed ascend to experience oneness and the path of light fashioned for you by the Lord himself long ago. It is our pleasure this day to assign a special angel to each and every one of you, dearest hearts, who will be with you during this Christmas season and on into the new year to the day of Epiphany. And this one will Grace, your auras, yea, your energy field with angelic light and love to support what you are envisioning and decide to fulfill in the year 2022. It is a time both to believe in yourself and the miracle light that may indeed a light within your world and to envision the highest, the brightest, the best accomplishment of your dreams, goals, and aspirations. And as you coalesce these in pictures and in writing, and in any creative way that you desire, that angel will empower and etch within your vision divine energies, holy frequencies, to then help you to bring these about next year and beyond. When you surrender to God your desires, God gives you much more than you have surrendered. For the light that you offer is multiplied, purified, and returned unto you as an overarching grace that will serve you in all your days and years to come. The greater the gift, the greater surrender, the greater the bestowal, the greater the anointing. 
The other aspect of this angel's work is to daily anoint you with holy oils of light. And upon awakening, if you desire, you may simply say, O oh, my angel assigned to me by Raphael and Mary, anoint me now with the holy oil that you would provide this day so that I may be of greatest service to humanity. Yes, anoint me hourly if you desire to refresh me in your spirit, O God, O Spirit most holy. Anoint me every moment if you choose so that each anointing will bring me into your living presence to experience your love and light so that I may share this anointing with others. Anoint me, O angel of the sacred fire, with cosmic love so that that love may grow within our world to heal the hurts, the sorrows, the pains, the inequities that we see about and around us. O oil of sacred fire anointing, raise up those who have lost faith or hope or charity and rekindle within them through this anointing of spirit new waves of light, new opportunities to grow and to fulfill their divine plan, their mission upon earth. Yes, dearest ones, prayers such as these are felt and acted upon post-haste by God and these angels. And you will experience through your daily anointings all manner of holy miracles I, Mary, proclaim it with my beloved Raphael. And as you accept it, it is so in your world. Now I choose to anoint one in your midst. through what normally is considered a nighting. And this is your beloved Marlena Lashom. You do not need to move, beloved one. Simply receive the dubbing of the angel who stands before you with a sword of sacred light. Yes, you are, lady, light love, for you live in light and you have great love for God and for all. And as lady light love, the healing graces that are yours to bestow will be magnified and maximized as you serve whether in the healing light retreat or elsewhere, to bring your love, your angelic love, born long, long ago in an ancient time unto many others into the present day experience of your givingness. Now, my precious hearts, it is also our great pleasure to share with you the pre-release of the book mentioned recently. I empower this book with Raphael and my love, our healing energies, our spirit of grace. And here it is, 
Mother Mary's messages, holiness, healing, and hope for the new age, which will be in your hands in February. It is, dearest ones, a tome of light that we will use to bring many back to the heart of holy worship, of impassioned prayer, of knowing God within, and of working toward their ascension in the light through stupendous effort and through both a humble mean and a graciousness that comes from our realm, supporting them on their path. I would like to read to you what is on the back cover, and then we will have our beloved Claire and our beloved David, David Kyle, share with you more on this precious tome thereafter. From the Queen of the Angels, Mother Mary's messages are of great relevance in these challenging times. She calls us to prayer, holiness, and reflection on our inner lives. In each message, she lifts us up in spirit and encourages us with her loving, immaculate heart and perfect vision to try to see life from a higher perspective and with a more compassionate and loving attitude toward all. Her teachings open the door to transforming our lives and world. Quote, Balance is the key for you today. When you stay fully centered in the balanced flames of love, wisdom, and power, nothing can move you from that state wherein you hear the voices of angels and the whisperings and musings of God's heart. Unconditional love is the love of the mother, born from the heights of the melting snows, the course and egress through the many rivulets and waterways of God's consciousness, namely all of his creatures throughout his vast creation. End quote. And another quote. When you know the source, you shall know that there is always enough abundance for all, as the eternal cycling of the mother's outpicturing of the father's gifts are outplayed through all of nature's majesty. End quote. This My Offering to Humanity is 1995, with 15 illustrations by the masterful artist David Kyle. So I invite our beloved Claire Brown to share with you more now. Dearest hearts. <laughs> 